In this video, let's see another subtopic of the chapter of continuity and differentiability. You see the heading is written over here has irremovable discontinuity part 1. That means I told you that a function may be continuous or non-continuous or discontinuous. Continuity we have already seen three conditions must be satisfied in the previous videos. Discontinuity I told you will be taking up in detail and removable discontinuity has already been covered in the previous videos. This video is dedicated to irremovable discontinuity. That means when a function is not continuous and you still cannot do anything about it. That is known as irremovable discontinuity. You see an example. This is a graph. There is a value on the x-axis that is 8. There are two values on the y-axis namely 4 and 7. What is the value of the function? I repeat, what is the value of the function if the function is fx at x is equal to 8? You see this is x is equal to 8. You have to see the value of the function. You move up and then you intersect the curve here. It is not a hole. It is a solid dark symbol. Right? So darkened symbol tells me that yes, the value of the function exists at x is equal to 8. You move upwards, you see it's already dark, you go to the other side, it becomes 7. So the value of f of 8 is 7, you come to know that ways. Next is what? Next you are interested in actually approaching 8. Approaching 8 means either from the left hand side or from the right hand side. This is called as left hand limit, this is called as right hand limit. Now from left hand side when you approach, you see that the curve is here and you approach it you get the value as 4. So when you approach the function from left hand side of 8 that is 8 negative you get the value as 4. Very fine with it. Okay. What about moving and approaching from right hand side to 8? You come from the right hand side you see the curve is here come from the right hand side coming 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 8 into 6 here you get 7. So that means limit fx x tends to 8 plus will give me 7. Now both these have 7 7 what should be equal? The condition should be all these three should be equal actually. But what is happening is the limits are itself not equal. Had it been LHL equal to RHL but not equal to the value of the function this kind of discontinuity we started in the previous video was called as removable. We were able to remove it but here the story is not this. The story is that these two things themselves are not equal. That means LHL and RHL are themselves not equal but the value of the function exists and it is equal to one of them. So this kind of discontinuity where the limit actually does not exist. Why does not exist? Because the left hand limit and the right hand limit are not equal. That kind of discontinuity is called as irremovable discontinuity. In the next video we will also see in what other case can discontinuity not be removed.